All right, Space Chickens, we're uh, we're back, and David's doing okay, which is good to hear. Stuff happens to us abductees sometimes, but anyway, man, good to have you back, and uh, maybe then once you're talking about that particular thing, so so we'll move on. We were just talking a little bit about how uh, you were just saying that you, th- you think that uh, people like you and I are the new generation of abductees, and, and I agree with you there, but uh, why don't you elaborate? Well, what I'm thinking, if you listen to the Betty and Barney Hill abduction cases and stuff, and then uh, ones in the 50s and uh, 60s, and, and then and then the other stories are similar, but they all kind of crack pop the same way. And then when you, you move forward uh, into the 70s and the 80s, and then all of theirs are kind of similar, but uh, now we're into the 2000s. And it, it, the stories are picking up, and they're uh, they're getting more similar. I think maybe the agendas are changing as they go through. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I thoroughly believe that there's the new generation of abductees. I, I believe that for sure. You know, I do. I do too. And I always try to tell people that email me. You know, that a lot of people feel really weird and self conscious about it. Obviously, man, because you got people telling you you're crazy and you know you're not, and uh, that's that's tough to deal with. But yeah, it's uh, they're certainly not alone. And these abductee people are not, you know, the stereotypical people that you think they are. They're usually intelligent people and uh, respected people. And it's and it's tough sometimes. It's you know, it is. And you know what? I, I find it also sometimes if uh, you don't. If you don't want to know, don't ask. <laughs> you know exactly, right? <laughs> All right, because it, because it, it's, it doesn't happen like it does in the movies. It, that's right. That's our old stuff. This is new stuff that's going on, and uh, and it's happening to a lot of people. A lot. Oh, it, it is, and we all have a really weird story. I don't know if you get it too. I've gotten this thing since it started. I'm like physically incapable of lying anymore. It's it's very strange, but uh, but yeah, it's it's. I don't know if people think that we can actually sit here and just BS this much or, or what. But <laughs> I, I I couldn't even come up with a line long enough to BS about some love. This is exactly. Truth. This has all been very scientific for me, and I really wanted to get down to the bottom of it in my own heart and everything I did. I did it for myself. I wasn't doing it to to enlighten the world because I I thought I was gonna make millions off this. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I really I got on further than everybody, in, and I was gonna bring back some kind of technology with me. But you can't you can't grab nothing. They, everything's tied down. <laughs> so I was it, like, absolutely. So, but uh, I, I love the honesty there too, man. And, oh, there was certainly a period in time when I was taking pictures too. Thought, oh, nobody ever has done this before, and it crossed my mind for a while, profiting off it. It, it, it just doesn't happen. It, it, right. No, no, yeah, everybody thinks you're crazy. So it. Uh, yeah. I, I'm trying. I'm tired of trying to prove it to myself, and that's what the Me whole too. thing was. And uh, so now that I'm, I'm convinced, uh, not only that I'm convinced, but I actually got the videos to uh, prove it to myself that, that what I saw was actually caught better on video than what I saw. But. Uh, yep. But uh, the, the experiences are totally real, and uh, it, it kind of guided me in a new direction of seeing the world for what it is. I mean, to me, people walking around like cattle. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think that TV has something to do with it. I really do. We all say the same thing. Man, I went on an epic rant about TV. It's just, it's just spoons feed you BS and mush and, and the worst news imaginable. It's freaking crazy. It is. I mean, it is. It is the worst news because they're, they're not telling you the whole story. And who cares what's going on with Michael Jackson? Who's cares what's going on with the with the golfer guy uh who, like, exactly you know it's like who cares but uh, but yeah they, they they're fed so much uh unreal reality tv on the news right. it, it just uh, and i can't watch it and, and i try to keep up with everything that's going on and uh in the paranormal world if you want to call it paranormal i, I don't even call it paranormal anymore <laughs> i was i was going to, to a scientist the other day a biologist i've been talking to a little bit i'm just trying to float some of this uh wisdom that they've given me to somebody else you know because i'm not a scientist and saying and they say well we, we don't believe too much in the supernatural it's essentially because if they it would be really hard for them to try to do i said hey, look at the nature supernatural it's like it's like superman you know it's nature but it, you know, bumped up a scale, and it's it, yeah, it, it gets to me too. That it's certainly very, very real, man. It is, and I really don't really think that the government knows, uh, or or the uh, people, the powers to be, really know what's going on, and that they're, they're pretending. And and if they are talking to uh, the same people I'm talking to, they're not telling them the full story because these guys only seem to talk to you if it benefits you. And benefits them, like I say, I don't know, not you, because uh, these guys they they could pretty pretty much care less of, of uh, what 
I do or or who I am. But as long as they're, they all, it just seems like it's a job for them. I don't know. See, that's interesting, and, and I start, and I wonder, because I know there's there's a ton of different groups out there that do this, as you know, too, and the ones that I have certainly, I've known, have had my best intentions at heart, because, well, things like you were talking about a little bit, I mean, they healed your uh, rheumatoid arthritis for you, and, you know, like I said, I go back to the thing they told me about the hybrids, that anybody who's abducted and has these experiences pretty much is a hybrid, and there's just a lot of them out there, and uh, so so it, it's mutually beneficial, that you know, they, they keep you around longer, you can help them, they help you, and it's... It, uh, you know, I, th- I think they have humanities. Uh, I think they want us to get through some stuff that's coming up here. Is my read on it, but I, I don't know what's your feeling on it. Yeah, well, uh, well, let me tell you. My last, uh, my last visitation uh-huh. was, uh, was last year, the uh, first, second, and the third of June. They came just before the fourth, and uh, and 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 they was talking about that uh, that there's going to be an event in April. It's going to happen uh, this year. That's going to be back to watch, and uh, they also said they're going to go watch uh, the fireworks in New York City because they said it was going to be a big. Fire. They're talking about how lame they like to watch what we do. They like to watch our, our uh, they like our music. They like our, our uh, oh yeah. They they tap into everything, and uh, so it's like entertainment for them, uh, and they keep up on things. But uh, but to find out that there were so many sightings during that. That was a uh, couple of days all across uh, ten states. I think it was. I was. Point. I was just going to tell you. I had a ton of sightings uh, on the on the fourth. Or that's wild. And and I found out. Uh, I think it was on a Monday or whatever. It was that New York had the biggest firework display. And uh, the one guy he was talking that New York always has a lame fireworks display. But the guy said no, not this year. And I uh-huh. I, I don't keep up with that stuff. But uh, anyways, that, that I found out that following Monday that they had the biggest firework display in, in all the United States and I didn't know that until it just kind of tickles me when I find that out but uh <laughs> I, I get that too yeah it's, they'll tell me like a certain thing about the body and I know nothing about it and I go look it up and like oh yeah, yeah, sure enough exactly like they said right so but they did say an event was going to happen in uh, April I don't know what it's going to be the Macy's parade for a thing or Easter I don't know what it is but uh but they sat me down in front of a TV and showed me some coastline getting uh, flooded. Uh, maybe it's an earthquake. Um, I just guess I'm trying to put it together because they, they never give me all the pieces, and I got right. to figure it out for myself. And uh, they always seem to do that way for me. And uh, they, they, uh, matter of fact, there was a guy on the other side that was running uh, the machines that run the Stargate. He actually wore only one of these patches over his eye. And, uh, and uh, their eyes actually look like a uh, snake's eye or a lizard's eye. They, they're slit in the middle like a cat. Okay. And uh, it, those are lenses that they have over their eyes, definitely. Really? See, and, and I was wondering about that, too, because I didn't know that for sure. But uh, I know yeah, that I, for I sure. Yeah. Huh. yeah, I know that for sure because i seen them take them off. And uh, there's one guy that was functioning the Stargate on the other side, and uh, he wore a black suit, uh and, and uh, it looked like some kind of space, but it was uh, all black. But uh, uh, he he, uh, he was only wearing one of these patches over his eye, and it was really funny because I run across the uh, uh, website that this girl drew in crayons of the same guy, and uh, it's uh, I mean, yeah, because he only wore one patch, and they showed they showed her the same thing that they showed me. That's a heck of a connection. Oh yeah, I don't know why they showed me that. I really don't. It, but it really affected me bad. Right. And uh, and uh, that girl that I was talking about drew a picture of the same guy. They showed her the same thing. Wow. Is this in our future? I don't know. And it, why why would they show that to me? I think because uh, to them knowledge is is uh, above all else. Above you can't. It's the uh, highest. Absolutely. It, yeah. It's, it's yeah. knowledge and logic. It's, I mean, that's that's what they're all about. Exactly, and I think this was payment for what they do and put me and my family through. And I, and I remember one time that they come in in uh, my bedroom, and I was just waking up, and they pulled the blankets off me, and I was laying in bed, and one grabbed me 